All right, good afternoon traders. This is your free video update from SeasonalSwingTrader.com. Today we're taking a look at a daily chart of Splunk Inc. SPLK. And we do have earnings coming up here on 1130, but we're going to take a look at a couple of opportunities that may allow us to participate in this trade before earnings using the November option expiration. So yesterday in our members video update, what we did is we noticed this three bar trend line here, starting with the swing highs up here around the $69.50 level. We came down, made a swing low here at 62.39 on 10.19, and we found a little bit of support. We found support here at the 6.18, also the 200-day moving average coming in. Notice that the averages are starting to flatline, starting to converge, although the 100-day is holding up fairly steadily, and we had price action test through the 100-day and close back above it, and we started to march higher. Now, what we were looking at here is we had a trend line retest here on the 23rd, and then yesterday, during the time of the recording, we were testing this area again. We noted that we would only want to get long if and only when we broke through the trend line, closed below the trend line, which also coincided with closes above the 9 and 20 day moving average and closes above the 50 and 100 day moving averages. Now, now if we take a look at the seasonality aspects of the chart here, you can see over the next, let's see, four weeks or so, Splunk has risen approximately by 2.5%. This is only based on five years of performance, has a probability of 60%. But over the last five years during this time period, Splunk has risen on an average of 2.5%. If we stretch this out to six weeks, you can see that Splunk has risen on average approximately by 9.1%. Same averages over the last five years, historical probability of 60%. Now, if you notice today, what we are seeing occur is a trend line breakout and trend line retest. So we broke through the trend line yesterday. We surged higher, making highs of $66.30 today. We retraced back and touched the trend line that we broke out from, also testing the averages that we cleared as well. So today, overall, it looks like a pretty ugly candle. We are only down $0.27 cents or down half or down four tenths of a percent when the S and P is down eight points today at twenty five sixty. Before looking at the option chain here, what we want to do for a bullish setup is take a look at areas of support where we could establish some out of the money credit spreads. So we're first going to take a look here below the sixty three level, and then down here below the sixty two level. So we go over to the option chain. We're going to take a look at the November options with 23 days left till expiration. That will allow us to get to be in and out of the trade before we have any type of earnings surprises. So here are the 62s with a delta of about 25 trading at 75 by 90. Market is closed looking at 75 by 90. We want something to spread with. We'll start with the 62s and go down the ladder here. So the 6259s are bringing in $0.45 cents or $45 per contract. If you want to get a little bit more aggressive, we can go up to the 63 strike. So selling the 63s, and we'll make it a three wide. So the 63.60s are bringing in around $0.65. Cents. The 63.61s around $0.45. Cents. We want to bring it out a little bit further, bring in some more premium. The 63.59s for around $0.75. Cents. So I like selling out of the money puts anywhere around those levels, the 63 to 62 strike. Depending on your capital and your overall risk tolerance, you can spread that out as far and wide as you like. Of course, uh, when you do that, you're going to be bringing more premium, but you also uh, increase your risk by a little bit. Now, if we do fail, and this is kind of a false breakout here of this trend line, we start to roll back lower and support does not hold, that would be a sign to exit the position. So using a little bit of technical analysis and seasonality on Splunk, hope it helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, support at seasonalswingtrader.com. Feel free to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and we'll see you on the next update. Traders, like what you see, want more trade ideas each week? Take a $7 30-day complete member access trial by clicking the link below. You'll have immediate access to analysis and seasonal trade ideas on over 35 commodity and currency futures markets, as well as coverage on all of the major stocks, exchanges, and ETFs in the U.S. marketplace. If you like us, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, like us on YouTube, and we hope to see you on the inside.